Hey, this is Scott Strong, certified trainer from the Training Farm, and today I'm going to show you some easy Photoshop animation. We're going to start out now. We have an empty image right now, and the image size at the moment is 16 by 9 at 72 dots per inch. That's pretty much the standard size for a lot of video these days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going to another image. I have an image right here of a basketball. So I'm going to select all, edit, copy, then I'm going to go over to my other image and I'm going to go edit, paste. I want to reduce the size of this just a little bit so it doesn't take up so much of the frame. And I do that with the move tool. Just hit apply. And I'm going to place the ball over here in the upper left. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pen tool and I'm just going to draw out a little path to serve as a guide. So I'll click and drag. That sets an anchor point and gives me Bezier handles. The next time I click a point and drag, I got another set of handles. I'm running out of space here, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit using Command minus on my keyboard. If I hold down Option on my keyboard and hover over one of the Bezier handles, you'll see that my pen turns into a little arrow. So I'm just going to grab that Bezier handle and move it over. That'll give me a corner with curves coming out of it. So next what I'll do is I'll set another point. And I need to zoom out again just a little bit, so I'm going to hit Command minus or Control minus on the Windows machines. Again, holding down Option, I'll get my pinched curve and then my last curve at the end. Next, what I want to do is I want to adjust these curves a little bit so I get a better bounce out of it. So I'm just going to stretch the Bezier handles a little bit until I get it adjusted into something that I like. Remember, this is just a guide, but you do want to have something that works for you. So now I'm going to zoom in. The next thing I want to do is I want to call up my animation timeline. So I'm going to go up here to the workspaces. If I click this double chevron right here, I'll see some more workspaces that I can choose from. The one that I'm looking for is motion. What comes up on my animation palette is the actual animation. If it shows up as a timeline, you might get something like this. All it is is a matter of clicking this button right here, you'll get the animation timeline up. Right now, the frame that I have right here is set to be on screen for 10 seconds. I'm going to change that over to no delay. All I have to do is click that little downward triangle and just select no delay. This is a good starting frame. What I want to do is set up my next frame, which is going to be a keyframe. So I'm just going to hit this new frame button right here. Now I have the second frame selected. In this frame, I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm going to change the basketball, move it right over here to the end point. So I have frame one, and I think I'm actually going to move it slightly off screen, and frame two. Adjust back.